Hi all, it's Dave here from Rank Nerd, and in our last video we went over how to start a web hosting company. In today's video I'm going to go over how to start a VPS company, so let's do it. If you haven't watched our last video, I'm going to link to it in the description below. Make sure you watch that first, since this video assumes that you have a hosting company website already set up. Now to start selling VPSs, I would recommend setting aside a budget of at least $200 a month. Here's how the budget will be allocated. You will need a control panel master server for $40 a year, that's just $3.33 a month. A control panel software license for just $12.50 a month and a dedicated server which will be the VPS node for just $179 a month. Now first and foremost you'll need to decide what control panel software you wish to use. The major control panels out there in the market today are Solus VM and Virtualizer. Each of these have their own advantages and disadvantages, however I would personally recommend Solus VM. Solus VM has been time tested and has gone through many development cycles, and most importantly it is established in the marketplace with hundreds if not thousands of hosting providers using their software as their control panel platform. As you can see, Solus VM charges just $2.50 per month for a master server, plus $10 a month for a VPS node, totaling just $12.50 per month in software licensing costs. Virtualizer is also similar in pricing. Secondly, you'll need another server to use as a control panel master, or in this case, a Solus VM master server. This simply means it's a server that is going to host the main brain of the control panel, and it should be separate from your VPS node. This doesn't have to be anything fancy or expensive, it can be a VPS with us. You'll just want to make sure it has 80 gigabytes of storage at a minimum, because the master server can consume quite a bit of storage due to the OS templates you need to store. I'll include a link in the description below which will get you a VPS with 2 gigs of RAM and 80 gigabytes of storage for just $40 a year. That's around $3 a month. This gets you a reliable place to host your master server while keeping it separate from your VPS node. Lastly, you'll need a dedicated server. This will serve as a VPS node. Here at RackNerd, we're able to provide some of the best pricing on VPS nodes because of our scale and because we understand the VPS business. This is what we live and breathe, so we know what configurations work and what doesn't. Most importantly, you'll be able to leverage our experience and knowledge. We can literally customize any dedicated server build that you can dream of. But here's a recommended starter configuration for a VPS node. I'll post a link in the description below for that deal. Now there are levels to this and you could go more powerful but since we're talking about just starting out, this is more than enough to accommodate your first 50 or 60 customers. As you go, you could expand to offer specialized VPS services such as Ryzen-based virtual servers or virtual servers powered by fast NVMe storage, or even offer virtual machines in multiple locations. But we can always worry about that later. For now, the purpose of this video is to get you started with your first VPS node. So the configuration mentioned is perfect for exactly that. You'll want to make sure your VPS node is set up with RAID 1 at a minimum, which means that if a drive were to fail, all data would remain intact and your customers will not go offline. All RackNerd's dedicated servers are also deployed with hot swap chassis, meaning we can replace drives that are RAID protected without taking the server offline. You'll want to make sure your VPS node is located in a hot and desirable data center location such as New York. New York provides excellent network latency throughout United States, Canada and Europe. New York is also very well connected with all the major transit providers. Another location we would recommend starting off with is Los Angeles due to the excellent latency it provides to areas like Asia, Australia and New Zealand. The VPS node configuration for $179 a month is available in New York, Chicago, Dallas or Los Angeles. You can choose your desired location you'd like to get started with in the order form. Once again, $179 a month gets you a decent VPS node that can easily hold 50 or 60 VPS customers. I'll post an order link in the description below if you would like to order this configuration. If you need something different, feel free to contact us. As an example, if you sell 60 VPSs each with these specs at just $10 each, that's a $600 a month revenue. Minus the costs of the VPS node of $179, that leaves you with a profit of $421. Not bad, right? 
and you could do it all over again by ordering another server once you've filled the first one up. These type of margins will also leave room for you to provide additional discounting. For example, you could run a 50% off sale and even at that, it would leave you with a $300 a month revenue minus the $179 VPS no cost, then your profit would be $121 a month. Again, all ordered links will be in the description below. So if you're just getting your head in the game and you need help in setting this all up, Racknew can offer customized setup solutions for a $300 one-time setup fee. We will have our experts set up your Solus VM master server and your first KVM VPS node. We will also set up your environment to have all the major Linux OS templates ready to go so you can start deploying VPS services. If you would like us to do that for you, I'll put an order link for the configuration service in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified when we make more videos like this one.